four hours. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma, and where did it get us? Other than bored? The band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there, if they'd show up. Well, they showed up all right. You know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning. Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this went better. In your dream, was the stage on fire? Because otherwise, I find that hard to believe. Whoa, can we do that for our next gig? We are not setting the stage on fire, Brian. Please stop asking. Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose hens since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, Freddy, I really do, but... But it didn't work all that well, huh? It's... It's just a sobering dose of reality, you know? What if it never gets easier? What if I never figure this out? <sighs> you will, Grace. You're too hard on yourself. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. All of this was your idea. I just... I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. Like a boat lost at sea with no sails, not a breeze. I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. too much or is it just me everything i set upon unravels at my feet everything i've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free like a With no sails, not a breeze, I am drifting cold waters, no star. I didn't mean to interrupt, I just... I heard you from outside. My name's Calliope. You... You have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Did you, uh, bring an instrument or some music? I kind of bring my music wherever I go. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Well. With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue. Grief from all the promises, too many dreams unsung. All the steps I didn't take and paths proved untrue. Is there any path through? Like a boat lost at sea. Oh, I'm about to wreck. No you dream. still have your life ahead. I am dreaming. that your song was just so wonderful i had to finish it with you i hope that's all right i also know what it feels like to be lost to feel as if you have no place to turn that's why i had to come inside i'm glad you did that was I've never experienced anything like that before. I'd be surprised if you had. What was that? It felt like... The music was everywhere, like it was coming from inside me. It always has, Grace. Just as it was when I walked in. May I ask you why you feel so... adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is just beginning. No younger than you. You're what, like 25? A bit older than that. Well, you know the story. Nothing ever works out like you think it should. Times ten. I do know that story. <laughs> I should go. Uh, about the audition. I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Right. See you then. <laughs> Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... be what the? Calliope? I didn't know where else to... I'm so sorry, Grace. I lived. I followed you. I, I thought. 
I didn't want to do this to you. I... Not like this. I'm so, so sorry. What do you mean? Hey! Calliope! Please. Please, come on. Oh, um, I can wait. Take your time. I... Who are... Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or our door, maybe? I, um, I came as soon as I could. Did you do this to her? Did you hurt Calliope? If you did... Her cow? No. I wouldn't ever. Like, ever, ever. She's the best. <sighs> she really is dead, huh? Man. So, the course is gonna want to talk to you. Sucks, but, you know. The chorus? You mean the authorities? <sighs> Are they coming? I guess they're authorities? But they're not coming here. We have to go to them. I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me so far? Cool. Let's go. Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. Okay? Wait! Come back! <sighs> okay. Yeah. I'll just wait here and, uh, not touch anything. Our beloved sister, the last of the Muses, has passed on to you, our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's, uh, Grace, yes? Um, yes. Oh, my, my. You have had quite the day, haven't you? Someone died in my arms. Where is this? How did I get here? Who are you people? Oh, so many questions. This is my office. 
and I expect you arrived through one of Hermes's portals. The shiny doorway. <laughs> As for who we are, well, that does require some explanation, I agree. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion, as always. The wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. Right, and you live here, not in some city in Europe or a... On top of a mountain? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls, and now, fashionably appointed apartments. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> we move with the times, Grace. We have to, if we're going to remain hidden and survive. The mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century. Television! <laughs> I do what I must. <laughs> you expect me to believe that gods, sorry, idols, have been living among us for what, thousands of years? You're thousands of years old. Oh no, no, I'm not trying to make you believe anything, not at all. If you'd like to believe this office is right outside your front door, or that we are... <laughs> I don't know. Actors? Religious fanatics? By all means. The only thing I do need you to grasp is that you are here. This is real, and like it or not, it is happening. Wait, you said, and Hermes said, that I'm a god now too. And an idol. That is true. That that thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon, the part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol, which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. The reason you're here, Grace, the reason why we made you wait so long while we debated, is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper, <laughs> never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to die. Well, then, what do you mean? What do you mean you have to die? It's exactly as it sounds, Grace. You can't do that. What about a trial? You aren't the police. What? Why hasn't someone called the police? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. But isn't... It... Oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we, we should... We should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end, yes, but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done, for Calliope's sake. But... This isn't justice! If you are lost, little girl, this bears explanation. Dear child, please listen. You have usurped a muse. No recourse to be arranged, but it's unfair. I know, but our laws cannot be changed. But she came to me. You must realize there are simple rules. If one of us dies, these rules have been the tools that she must know. I didn't do it. Is it weird this isn't song? Now, the 
Disagree. Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but I, I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? <sighs> And what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Oh, Apollo, I thought we'd agreed this was justice. What would you have us do? I can prove myself. Uh, if you let me. I can try. We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. And there we have it. So, no dying. Am I hearing that right? No grace getting smited by the gods? You say Calliope chose you. I would like to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial. If you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then, well, our original verdict stands. This is not real. I fell down some stairs, right? I'm in a coma. A nice, normal coma. Oh, would that were so. For then Calliope would still be with us. You can wake up any minute now, Grace. Any minute. We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities. They cannot help you. Do not harm another idol. Do not leave the city. Do as the chorus commands. Otherwise, do whatever you must to find the true killer, if they exist. Oh, that's all? Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. Now then, close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel... Powerful. Grace, you know that you're lost now. You've been given powers you don't understand. I'm the guy who can help you. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. This is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? <laughs> Why not? Time's a wasting. How the hell did you find me? This is the weirdest night I've ever had. And you say I have powers? How could this possibly turn out bad? Am I doing it now? Brilliant. I don't follow. Lost little girl. Are the 
those really actual horns and this singing is so hard to swallow can you hear me grace what's going on lost girls lost girls you all love your lost girls a rescue that you can take home i won't say you need saving you're not drowning you're waving and you too are you a <laughs> it's so titillating. Grace, we gotta be careful. Has he slipped something into our drinks? Spouting crap about powers. He could be dangerous. What do you think? Freddy, this map is uncharted. Let's hear him out. I know how you feel. Me, I'm just getting started. I wish you could feel this. It's kind of unreal. Grace, I'm frightened. It's okay, Freddy. I got this. game to me. I'm not picking sides. My life is on the line. Phantom pains from a missing friend Feeding thoughts Thoughts that never end What did I do? What didn't I do? Here she is, only in your head. Long gone fights, but they're never dead. What did I do? What didn't I do? What did you do? What did you do? Come, there's waves to ride 
I stayed shut inside And that's where she and I would disconnect Cause and effect Calliope, she's the way to be Facing out, finding ways to see beyond what's dead, reaching ahead. Yeah, that was her, a meteor, a blazing star, and she was no more. What did I do? What didn't I do? You can make a tiny space for what you wish. 